Why hello there ladies and gentlemen, in today's video we're going to be trading up the brand new blueprint series, the select favourite series, and honestly, we could have chances of getting some painted hellfires, painted slipstreams, some painted fennex, and even painted vampire bats, and hopefully that will provide some nice entertainment, because if we do get some of those new painted hellfires, that will be very, very nice, especially for you guys to watch as well. But basically, what I've been doing recently is collecting as many of these select favourite blueprints as I could, and let me tell tell you that is not an easy task. It may sound easy, but it's not because on trading sites, select favorites aren't even like a thing. Like you can't actually ask for select favorite items on certain trading sites. And also nobody really lists if they have blueprints because nobody really cares about blueprints. They're very cheap. So if people knew that I wanted to buy these blueprints, then they would definitely be loads and loads of people I could buy them from. But it's just so hard to find people to buy them from because the people are just not listing that they have them. So it definitely took some time, and of course I was on holiday as well, so this video could have been out before the holiday, but I wanted to get a few more. But we don't only have exotics, we have loads of uh, rares, very rares, and imports, along with the exotics, so if we don't get any like cool painted fennix or anything, we'll trade everything up, up to these exotics, and try and get ourselves some painted slipstreams and hellfires. So after hearing from our sponsor at RL Exchange, let's get into these trade-ups. If you want an easy way to buy cheap Rocket League items no matter what console you're on, head over to RL Exchange and use code DILWOBS at checkout for 3% off. It's a super easy site to use and there's a bunch of different payment methods that you can also use. And my favorite part is that they constantly run giveaways that you can enter by doing different tasks on the site. So make sure if you're buying things from RL Exchange, you also check out the giveaways tab because I know you guys love your free items. So why not do that? There's a link in the description that will get you all set up and hopefully you can enjoy buying some nice Rocket League items. All right, now trade up should hopefully be easy. What we have to do is sort by series and go and find the blueprints. I think it's these ones right here. So as you can see, if we sort by series and choose this one, Clod Hopper Wheels are the first ones in the series that show up here. So if we just click yes and trade up, there we go. We have ourselves some Fennec Ombres and things like that. I'm not sure what's really in the very rare list. Um, let's take a look. Cristiano Wheels are probably the coolest, but even them I'm not a huge fan of. So realistically, all of these we're just trading up so that we can get ourselves even more trade ups later. Are you kidding me? Why did it put me to the top? This update was supposed to make trade-ups a lot easier, or did we just fully run out of rares already? No, we didn't. There's still there's still loads here. Okay, let's get all of these. Oh yeah, I forgot. Octane Dragon Law was in this. Alright, let's get these ones. Now honestly, I feel like this is gonna go past a lot quicker than I thought. Okay, and we have um we don't have any more from that series. So let's just throw in two from another series and hope we get a select favorites item. We did actually, we got light speed in Burnt Sienna. So we did actually go and get ourselves select favorites because obviously you know now you can trade up items from all sorts of series. So there we go. That was just simply the rare ones. No big deal. Let's hope we have more very rares. As you saw, my painted Cristiano set that I've acquired from literally just getting these. Uh, we got plenty. Look at this. We got some gray, crimson, lime, pink, and purple Cristiano wheels. All wheels I really do not care about. We've got loads of glaive wheels, goops, light speeds. Hopefully... We can get plenty from this. Um, I'm not sure how many trade ups it will be. It will probably flash past like it was nothing. But let's trade up all of these Christiana wheels. Can we get a painted vampire bat in titanium white? Let's see. Okay, we got what we asked for. Kind of. We didn't get the whole shabam. But I kind of freaked then. I think a titanium white vampire bat is still going to be profit for us. But honestly... I'm not too bothered about the prices. I just want to see what cool things we can get. Anyway, where the heck are these items gone? I'm going to keep that purple Cristiano there so that, like, it's an easy thing for us to find when if it starts moving us around. We got ourselves a Dark Matter, but it wasn't painted. It would be nice to see some of that new painted Dark Matter, but unfortunately we didn't there. Let's see what these Glaive Wheels will give us in this one. Sunray non-painted. I'm not liking the lack of painted items because when it comes to the black markets, I really want some painted. If not, this whole thing has not been worth it. I don't know how much I've spent, honestly. Painted vampire bats, please? Hello? Look at this thing. I want this thing to be painted, but never mind. I, I seriously don't like the amount of regulars, though. It is not nice to see. But like... As of how much I spent on this, really a regular Fennec? Are you kidding me? But if my calculations are correct, it's it's at least 500 credits, a few more, maybe a thousand credits, honestly, because I, I overpaid to start with, 
Um, I got to the point where I was spending 10 credits on each exotic blueprint though, but then I'd like often give people 10 credits for like very rares and imports as well. And a lot of you guys I actually bought off because I did do a community post about it. And are you actually joking? We got another regular Fennec. And um, I'm sorry, we've actually run out of very rares already. So we have a one Cristiano blueprint. And then we have four random blueprints. Will we get a... Okay, it's a Fennec, but is it like an actual good Fennec? Who knows? Okay, we're on to import trade-ups. I don't know how many of these I have. I think I have quite a few, uh, but we'll have to see about that. Okay, we've got three select favorites Fennec, so who knows with that. I've got a few painted Fennecs as well. Um, we're just going to trade them all up. So where does it start? It starts with the Dark Matters. It doesn't seem like there's a lot here, I'm not going to lie, but let's get it. Some painted exotics just to make it fun. I'm going to trade them up anyway. Let's see if we can get anything funky. Because we're going to need some serious change of look when it comes to these black markets. I kid you not. If I get like five regular hellfires, I'm going to be fuming. It's the Sovereign AT wheels I think we're looking for. Here we go. Uh, Sovereign AT wheels. Get all of them. And trade it up. Let's have a look. Pyros wheels. No painted. You can definitely get these painted, can't you? Right? Yeah, you can, because we got the light speed trail painted, so there should be no difference between this and this. Um, we actually don't have enough to do another full one, so let's pray that these... F actually, I'll keep the Fenix, because who knows? Fenix might go up again in the future. Um, let's have a look, though. Will we get Pyros or Illuminators? No, we do not. Okay, so this is probably the part of the video uh, you were all hoping for. Uh, this was the part of the video I was I was excited for. As it turns out, we don't actually have loads. I'm going to be honest. It's not a huge amount of exotic blueprints. But I promise you, these took so long to get a hold of. I couldn't wait any longer. Please, can we get a sick painted black market? Um, how many do we have? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 21, 22. We have 23. So we genuinely only have... Four full trade-ups that are guaranteed. And then we have one more at the end that might give us a brand new painted black market. But let's get it. Let's get these Illuminata wheels. Five regular Illuminatas. Can we get a painted? Oh, my. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. A titanium white slipstream on the first trade-up. I do not know how much this thing is worth. It's probably declining in price like crazy. But take a look, guys. I'm honestly just going to use this. Titanium white slipstream. You can't write that. We got so many unpainted items. They were saving us for this. Can we now get a titanium white hellfire? Let's take a look. But I want to see the price of this. Yo, Mr. Beast collab, let's go. But seriously, titanium white slipstream is 5,000 credits. And it costs 2,500 to build the blueprint. So I can sell the blueprint for 2,500 credits. So honestly, I've profited now from this video. I actually freaking profited from blueprint trade-ups. If anyone wants to buy this titanium white slipstream off me, then comment down below if you're on PC. If you want to, I'll sell it for 2,500. I also low-key kind of want to keep it, so we'll have to see with that. Um, but it might make sense to sell it honestly because it's probably going to go down. But geez, let's... You can't write this stuff. Honestly... I've missed doing things like this. Um, th there's not been many like drop openings I've been able to do recently. Still waiting on them. And this honestly just fills that gap. And that was honestly the best I could have possibly asked for. Now let's get the white hellfire. Never mind. A regular slipstream. It's alright. It's alright. Now this is the third one. This is the other guaranteed select favorites trade up. There's one more that's not guaranteed. In fact, let's do the non-guaranteed one now. So let's trade up... Um, Let's trade up three Pyros, and then let's trade... Wait, what am I thinking? No, there's... there's No, what am I thinking? There is way more than that. Okay, I'm just being stupid. Let's get it. We still have another one after this. So can we get a painted one again? A black slipstream! Is that not the other most expensive one? <laughs> oh. Oh, black slipstream looks better than white, in my opinion. Jeez, that's... Normally, black items on Rocket League aren't really that black, but this is, like, proper matte black. Wait, is black more better than the white one? I don't know. But we have just gotten, I think, the two most expensive colors usually in Rocket League 
in slipstreams. Okay, the black slipstream is about 3,000 credits and it costs 2,200 to build. So that's still at least 1,000 credits profit hopefully maybe for a thousand for that i don't know why black isn't worth as much because i think it looks better than the white in my opinion you guys let me know in the comments below but no way did we just pull that rocket league nice in us once again now let's do this trade up which isn't guaranteed to give us a hellfire or a slipstream but it has a 60% chance to. Um, but let's take a look which other blueprints we want to merge them with so that we can get our best chance of getting something good. Um, we probably want to try and get a titanium white mainframe. Um, I'm just seeing which one has the best odds with a mainframe. Um, I honestly think the mainframe odds is going to be down here. So let's put it with the Zephyr series because that's our chance at a white mainframe. But what we really want is a painted hellfire in three, two, one. Another slipstream. Sorry, have we just gotten four slipstreams back to back? Two certified, two painted. All right, Rocket League, you're not you're not surprising us anymore. How about you just give us the last slipstream now then? Paint it for us. Let's get it. I enjoyed making this video. Honestly, the results were a lot better than I thought. I was really scared that I'd get nothing good and this would be such a boring video to watch. But if you are watching to the end right now, which should probably be all of you, because the black market trade-ups are what you really came for, then let me know in the comments by saying Dillbobs is the RLCS GOAT. If you don't get that reference, basically there's a banner in Rocket League, which is a GOAT, and yeah. Anyway, let's get it. Oh, no! No, 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 no. It was the only Hellfire we got. And it was Striker. And if they'd only have put in a paint on that, I just realized if we actually did get a Striker painted item, it would actually make us so much profit because Striker painted items like these completely changed the game. A Striker white Hellfire. I don't even know how much that would cost, but I guess that is just teasing us to do more trade-ups. Unfortunately, we won't be able to do any more in this video with these series. Maybe in the future I'll get more, but these items will be dropping in price a lot. If only I had done this video literally a week ago, we probably would have got a little bit more profit, but who cares because that was freaking worth it. There's a Striker Hellfire for you. Uh, it would have been lovely to have that painted. But shall we take a look at those two slipstreams once more? Let's take a look. Look at that. Titanium white slipstream. The best color we could have asked for. Honestly, we couldn't have asked for anything better than that. Look at that beast. And then black slipstream just to top it all off. Look. Oh, man. I really like this. I really like this one. It looks so sick. Look at that. Okay, but that is it from this video, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed those trade-ups. They were fun, honestly. Blueprint trade-ups seem like they're not as fun, but that was actually insanely fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. And yeah, I put in a, I put in a lot of effort to get those blueprints. I've not really seen any other trade-up videos with that series anywhere on YouTube. So um, hopefully, this was definitely something new and exciting. But I'll see you in the next one, guys. Goodbye.